Well, today we're going to go ahead and do an experiment and the title of our experiment is called Melting Ice. The picture, um, I went ahead and I previewed a picture of all the materials that you're going to need for today's experiment. You will be needing some ice, you will need three clear cups, you will need graduated cylinders, measuring spoon, uh, preferably one tablespoon, that way you can measure one tablespoon of sugar, salt, and sand, and a timer. As you can see, I have now measured, I have put 12 ice cubes in each cup. Okay, I've already pre-measured the salt, the sugar, and the sand. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the salt inside the, the cup, the sugar, and the sand. I'm going to start the time now. I'm now waiting for the timer for, I've set the timer for two minutes. I'm going to see what substance is going to melt the ice in two minutes. And I'm waiting for the, as soon as the timer is up, I will go ahead and measure using our graduated cylinders. As you can see, the timer is about to run out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and measure this how much ice, how much, actually I'm gonna get a spoon here so that the ice doesn't. Okay, now I'm going to measure the sugar. And there is nothing there, okay? As you can see for salt, in two minutes, we have 10 milliliters of water. For sugar, we barely have one milliliter of sugar. I mean, I'm sorry, with the, and with the sand, we have nothing. There is zero. Now, always remember, boys and girls, that uh, we're gonna go ahead and repeat our trial. Remember, the more we repeat it, the more accurate results we are going to get. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the timer again for two minutes and to see how much, how much more water is going to be released. Okay, boys and girls, I went ahead and I already put everything back on the ice. We have the salt, the sugar, and the sand. I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer for two minutes and we'll come back to see how much ice melted. Boys and girls, the timer has stopped. We're gonna go ahead and measure how much salt, sugar, and sand, how much ice has melted. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and write down how much water we have here. We have about 11 milliliters of salt. Sugar, we have 10 milliliters of sugar. And again, we have no sand. Now, boys and girls, if you guys notice, I have 11 for salt and 10 for sugar. And if you remember in the first trial, sugar only had one milliliter. So I, I think there's there's something very different from my trial. So I know I have to repeat it again because I need to make sure if it's gonna melt one milliliter or 10 milliliters. So that's why, once again, it's very important that we repeat these trials three or more times. Okay, boys and girls, so now we're gonna go ahead and do trial three. Once again, I have the salt, sugar, and sand. I'm gonna start the timer and we will check back in two minutes. All right, boys and girls, as you can see, our timer is about to run out, okay? And we're, okay, let's go ahead and check to see how much ice melted here.
Sugar. And sand. Oh, and it's just the sand that is coming up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and write down on my graduated cylinder. This time I have about seven milliliters of salt water. Here I have five milliliters of the sugar and zero again for sand. Okay, since my data is, it's kind of like not making sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another trial to see what happens next. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do our fourth trial. Once again, we have salt, sugar, and sand. I'm gonna press on the timer and we will check back in two minutes. Okay, our time is about to run out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and measure how much salt melted the ice. Okay, sugar. and sand. And we don't have anything. So here I'm gonna go ahead and check for salt. I have five milliliters of salt. For sugar, I have three milliliters. And for sand, zero. Okay, 